In today's video, we're opening never before seen third party blisters from 2003. What's up guys, we're back with another video doing one of my favorite things to do on this channel, which is open these weird third party blisters from like early 2000, I said it's 2003, I think it's actually 2004. I was looking at Magician's Force, these are both from 2003, so I figured 2003, but I guess I did it a year later when they were a little bit older, so. I love doing this because you get to see the prices they had them at, oh, 7.94, now 5.94, they, pr is that printed on there, is that a sticker? That's a sticker. You can see the two packs, they got these really old school packs inside, which means usually these are not like weighed or tampered with or anything, because they've been in there for like 20 years. So in a sense, they're basically like unweighed loose packs, which is really fun. We also have a few others, like we have this uh, MRD LON pack. We've got this MRD, uh, I think that's LON as well. We got some LOMC, we got a bunch of stuff. So we'll, we'll get to it. A bunch of these awesome blisters, we'll probably save this one for last because it has Magician's Force, which is pretty fun. And we've got a bunch of other old school packs. I didn't even throw, the only new packs I threw in were two LOB 25th anniversary just because they fit the theme. Because it's completely vintage today. So get excited, this is gonna be super fun. And we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Dupo little promo pack, which has this awesome Ultra Art Dark Magician. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. What do you think about this opening? What do you think about these third party blisters? And will we pull any awesome pulls? Cause it's pretty feast or famine on these. You either pull like amazing stuff or you pull like nothing. So I'm hoping we're feasting today. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. Are you ever at home working, playing games or opening Yu-Gi-Oh packs and you just get Hungry? Because I work at home, it happens to me every single day. And then I'm faced with the decision of what to eat. This can be a real hassle if you don't have anything prepared. That's where HelloFresh comes in. Whether you're trying to save money, eat better, or just stress less about what you're eating, HelloFresh is here to help with all three. HelloFresh has fresh ingredients and chef-crafted recipes at a price you'll like, and it's delivered to your front door. And once they get to your front door, you have delicious food that you can make quickly and conveniently. Just choose your recipes and select the delivery date, and HelloFresh handles the meal planning and the shopping for you. Literally all you have to do is wait for the box to get there, open it up, the pre-portioned ingredients are there, and then you just start cooking. And right now HelloFresh has their biggest menu yet. They have over 45 recipes and market items that support your lifestyle. Plus when you sign up for HelloFresh you'll get free dessert for life. I didn't used to be a dessert guy, but in the last couple of years, after I eat a meal, all of a sudden I want something sweet after it. I don't know if I'm getting old or what, but this lifetime dessert thing might solve my problem. So if this sounds like something that will interest you, go to the link in my description and use my code RUXIN16FM and get 16 free meals plus free dessert for life as long as this subscription is active. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. All right, so let's just start off a little appetizer with Ancient Sanctuary, here we go. This should be a fun one. Vintage opening, Ancient Sanctuary, we have, okay, yeah, this, oh man, I'm excited for that. Oh, go, calm down, calm down, don't, don't, don't freak out camera, I just punched the camera. Well, really it was the arm of the camera, but I didn't punch the, the camera itself. We have Ninjutsu Art, Arcane Archer of the Forest, Let's make sure everything's recording, because you know, sometimes it'll stop in the middle of an opening, which is never fun. Judgment of the Desert, we have Resort to Get from the Sky. And Goblin Thief and Avatar of the Pot. Should have been in the pot collection. Big gripe, Konami. Why was this not in the pot collection? I mean, just imagine a little figure. You know, that would have been amazing. Um, all, I lost my train of thought because of pot, Avatar of the Pot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the recording thing. Yeah. Uh, and then maybe I'll record it on slow-mo. I'll record it with the uh, the sound off. You know, I've done all kinds of stuff recently, so I'm trying not to do that. We have Pharaonic Guardian here, which has amazing commons. Metamorphosis, Trap Dust Shoot, Made in the Aqua. You guys know this. Grape Keeper, Spear Soldier. We have Reasoning. Master Kianchi, Rux and Special, Needle Ceiling. Royal Keeper, Pyramid Energy, Bottom of Shifting Sand. And King Tiger Wangu, this is like a $3 rare, I think. Wait, didn't he get? No, it might have gotten a Speed Duel print, which may have hurt it. I think they got a secret in there, but... That's still a good card. Okay, let's go to our first third party uh, blister here. Let's do the Magic Ruler slash Legacy of Darkness. This one's very bent up. Uh, not a lot of info on this one. A 799 MSRP or SRP, it's just SRP, not MSRP. Maybe it's so old that preceded that, who knows? 799, or maybe that's a different thing. What does MSRP even stand for? So standard retail price, what's the, what's the M stand for? I don't know what the M stands for. Canadian SRP and uh, we got the Mexican. So it's six, it's seventy nine ninety in Mexico, guys. It's insane because the peso, you know, way lower than uh. It's like I call I call Canadian money fake money. So really, sorry pesos, you guys are like way down the way down there. Okay, let's see. Ow, I just poked myself. That hurt. Okay, maybe I think that's the 
The people, the people from Mexico were like, hey, you talk about our peso like that, you get stabbed. Okay, buy this random blister pack with a very pointy corner. Okay, two packs, original, original logo. We get blue eyes too, and that'd be amazing. Let's start off with Legacy of Darkness. Hopefully we can get some, I mean, these are unlimited, but if we get like nice pulls, I'll probably still send them into PSA if they're gradable. I do have a current submission there, but I'm trying to get another submission ready because it's always fun to have those coming back. Four from the back, we have a Wolf Axe Wielder, Secrets of the Bandit. We've opened a mini LOD before, but we are always excited to pull Jack's Fairy Lily or Yadagarasu. We got Lizard Soldier, we got Throwstone Unit, Robiaru, Bark Dark Ruler, Wing Minion, and the A-Forces from the A-Team. Okay, nothing crazy there. Magic Ruler. Let's continue on, MRL. Original logo, MRL. This, if it has a Blue Eyes tune, it's actually over a $100 card, even an unlimited. So... That'd be big. We have Commencement Dance. And that's ungraded, by the way. Metal Fish, Rocks and Special. Eternal Rest, Darth Maul Awaiting Orders. We have Horn of Flight. Speaking of Darth Maul Awaiting Orders, Battlefront 2 is back, apparently. You can, like, it's been, like, re-released or whatever. The original, not the crappy one that they came out with recently, like, 2005. Pretty amazing. We have Ancient One. Fire Kraken. We have Dark Witch. Crab Turtle. And we have... Oh, Mega Ryu. And I had high hopes for that one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We got some other packs. Here's some of the loose packs. Let's try some of these. These Pharaoh Servant have not been good for us. We've opened a bunch of them, and they've sucked. Like, let's let's be frank. They've sucked. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness. Check that out. Dinged on the corner. We have Solomon's Law Book. Deep Sea Warrior. Oni oh, Tank Rocks in 34. That wasn't dinged, right? Oh yeah, we gotta pull that one aside. We have Dokuro Yaiba. Cyber Falcon. Gamble flipping coins. Shadow of Eyes, Drill Bug. And we have No one of Exterminate. Yeah, these. Okay, so that was not the messed up one. Which one was the messed up one? I don't know. Where'd it go? Wait, it's gone. Maybe it was that one. It just doesn't look as bad. I don't know. That's kind of weird. All right, Blue Eyes. This is, uh, of course, a 2023 pack, but guess what? It can pull Blue Eyes still, which is... I just completely missed. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> I just missed the Rux, the, uh, the the pack trick, not the Rux and Special. We all, well, it's kind of a Rux and Special in a different way. We have Panda, Teed Angel. We have Root Water. Reaper of the Cards and Kumu Toko, so yeah, not great there. That's fine, let's go to our next blister. Let's alternate to the Metal Raiders original logo and Labyrinth of Nightmare, so $7.99 on there. We've got, uh, we will not say anything about the peso this time. Okay, you gotta be careful, these things are sharp. See, look, I didn't poke myself. When you respect the peso, you're fine. Respect the peso, that's what we've learned in this video. Both original logo, L-O-N, the last set before that, well, it's not true, wait. Why does Pharaonic Guardian have original? Does LOD have these too then? Because they switched them in 2003 and there's an original logo Pharaonic Guardian. No, maybe I'm thinking of, no, that's not true. This is the last original logo. Magic Spell Ruler is the thing where it made it all the way there. Okay, I I'm getting it together. Yeah, Pharaonic Guardian has both Magic and Spell Ruler packs. So the cards or the Magic Rulers inside or the Magic cards inside will say either Magic or Spell depending on where when you get them or when they're from. Got that confused with the original logo. No, LON, the last one, the original logo. Here we go, Akibio Drakmorn. Humanoid Slime, that's, man, that's an awesome card. Earl of Demise, this gentlemanly creature is extremely wicked, feared by men and fiend alike. He's he's wicked, not wicked. We have the Dark Door, Dream Sprite. We have Grave Robber's Retribution. That's some serious retribution right there. God, this reminds me of uh, X-Men Apocalypse. Not a great movie, but when he puts that dude in the wall, you know, that like thug or what, I don't know what you call him. He was like trying to beat him up in the in the alley and he like put him into the wall and they sanded him to death. All right, Gadget Soldier. And we have Spirit of the Breeze. So we are 0 for so far. Not awesome. MRD original. Look, my favorite set, Canyon Moth Potential. Amazing Ultras, amazing secrets. Let's see what we can get. So far, it's been nothing. I would like to turn that around right here. One, two, three, four. We have Paralyzing Potion, Magic Guard. We have Insect Soldiers of the Sky. Hunter Spider, Aku Beam. Oh yes, the Pequeno Moth original print. Let's go, that is beautiful. This small but deadly creature is better off avoided. No thank you, I would like to, I would like to not avoid it. You know, I, I want it to be unavoided. Be sure a butcher, share the pain and oh, seven tools of the bandit. An ultra rare. But not the ultra rare we were looking for. That was a weird sound I just made when I said ultra rare. I don't know what that was. That was like a squeak slash rasp at the same time. That is, it's an ultra, not the worst ultra. I think the worst ultra is Horn of Heaven. So look, I'll take it. Centering is a little bit off, but 
you know, I might try it at PSA anyway. We'll give it a shot. Now that bulk prices are like $14, which is like getting close to like 10 bucks, which is where I'm like basically sending anything at that point. I'm willing to give this a shot. Centering's a little bit off, but uh, I think it could squeak through. Seven tools unlimited. Not gonna fetch a crazy price, but if it gets a 10, it's gonna be pretty nice. So I'll take an ultra. I'm not mad about that. Let's try out. We do have another lab with the nightmare right here, original print so let's see what we can get give us something big right here one two three four gemini elf <sighs> last word from another planet the mass beast dark necro fear forgiving maiden vengeful box fear we have saint yellen Ember's mantis and we have a spirit message in nice card nice card but not a four Okay, after this Legacy of Darkness, I've opened one of everything I have on the side. So then we can get, you know, back to repeats and stuff. L-O-N and L-O-D, back to back. Fourth and, or fifth and sixth set ever made in Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG history. Spirit's Invitation, we have Twinetta Wolf. Rocks and Special, greatest option. Bubble Crash, great long, no short print. There you go, Gezi. We have Throwstone Unit, Robo Yaru, Bark Dark Ruler, and we have a Ray of Revealing Light. So one foil so far. You know, can't complain. Let's see what we can do. Let's open this Yu-Gi-Oh! GX two-pack one with the Flaming, Eternity, and First Ed. So, I didn't notice that was First Ed. If this is a hobby pack and has Horus Ulti level eight, oh my goodness, that would be that would be up there on one of our best pulls of all time. Speaking of, I did our top 25 best pulls of all time. So if you have not seen that video, go check it out. Uh, there's 25 amazing pulls from the history of the channel. Uh, yeah, you're gonna wanna see that. And uh, if we pull this here like Horus, then this will be in this video. Here you go. Check it out. But this will definitely make the video. Let's say that's all the duelist for after Flaming Eternity. Flaming Eternity, I would be totally okay with really any ulti. But if it's a Sacred Phoenix on limb ulti, I'd still be down for that. That'd be amazing. Whew. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Give us something big. The Earth Hexel Fusion. There's not a lot of cards in these sets. The uh, mid GX, like early GX or between GX, OG, whatever you want to call them sets. There's like 60 cards. So not a lot of variety on the commons, but there's some cool ones like Hyena from Lion King. We have the Hexel Fusion and we have Meteor of Destruction. So nothing too crazy in Soul of the Duelist. I mean, in uh, Flaming Eternity, we're hoping there is something crazy in Soul of the Duelist right here. Horse of Black Flame Dragon level eight ultimate rare is a thousand dollar card raw, something like that. I don't care if it's off centered and has scuffing on it, which it probably will. But if it, even if it was, if it didn't though, and we pulled it, I mean, it would be like PSA 10 is big. So that'd be pretty huge. One, two, three, four. Let's just hope we can get something here. We have big wave, small wave. Come on, Soul of the Duelist. Mass Dragon. I really like this card. It's like a Ma Mass Dragon, basically the dragon uh, recruiter. Pretty cool. Neo Aquamador. They did a retrain of Aquamador that fast. It's pretty insane. And all they did was give it more attack and defense and make it a tribute. Very weird. Absolute end. Sandwich Sangan in Witch of the Black Forest. We have Unshaven Angler. Taunt. Red Eyes Bee Chick. And we have... Oh, Aplesia Seduction. That is not the droid ruler. Or should I say the plant we're looking for? All right. We gave it a shot. Sold the duelist didn't come through for us. That's okay. LOB, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Of course, this would be the one we get a big pull out of since it is, you know, a 2023 20, set. Or not set, but re-release, I guess you could say. Tear the Terrible. Red Medicine and Warrior number one. We have Ty Home. We have Arm Ninja. And we have in Warrior number two. So I guess not. Back to Ancient Sanctuary. A lot of amazing sets in, or not sets, cards in Ancient Sanctuary. So let's see. And by a lot, I mean like not a lot, but a few, you know, a few ones we want. Delta Attacker, Elephant Statue, Fiend Scorpion, Rocks and Special, Warrior of Zera, Goblin King, Mystic Walk, Emissary of the Oasis, and King of the Swamp. Was a good one for a while. Don't think so much anymore. All right. Magic Ruler time. Give it another chance for the Peso. Shout out the Peso. Best currency ever made. Here we go. Ooh, it's a Pharaoh Servant. Wasn't there something else last time? It was like Legacy of Darkness. Okay, that's cool. That Pharaoh Servant. Hopefully it's a hobby pack. Jinzo potential. Let's see. Let's try it out. One, two, three, four. We have Infinite Dismissal, Bubonic Vermin, Seven Completed, Enchanted Javelin, Darkfire Soldier, Numero Dos, Bite Shoes, The All Seeing, White Tigre, Ground Collapse, and we have The Shallow Grave. Okay, nothing in that one. That's fine. MRL. <sighs> Blue Eyes Tune Dragon, let's go. Blue Eyes Tune, one, two, three, four. I believe in you, Relinquish would be cool as well. Spear Cretan, very annoying card. The Weather Report, Upstar Goblin, great card. Ceremonial Bell, Dark Zebra. Luminous Spark, Red Archery Girl. Malevolent Nuzzler, come on, baby. Magic Ruler, Karate Man, hi -ya! 
Okay, he is not the, des the chop man, the desperate outlaw, but he also, I mean, he has the karate chop going. Pharaoh Servant up next. Pharaonic Guardian. I said Pharaoh Servant. No, it's not. Oh, upside down card. Maybe that could mean something. Maybe that means it's a foil. If it is, it looks pretty clean on the back. Let's see. Two-ton mask. Give us that Don Zaluk. I would love that. Time Eater. Secret uh, Lava Golem or especially Ring of Destruction would be amazing. Needle Wall, Catavill Omen. I just remembered, actually. I got these in a 24-pack box, so that should be Ring of Destruction if we get one. I don't think I've ever actually pulled that card, so that'd be huge. And even on un Unlimited. And now, luck, we have a man with the Widget. Cabazals. Card Shovel. Come on, baby. BSC. It's a trap card. A lot of traps of Pharaonic Guardian. Come on. Secret Rare. Not very centered based on the bottom border, though. Barrel behind the door. It's always barrel behind the door. Always barrel behind the door. Couldn't have been the Ring of Destruction. I convinced myself it was it for a second. Okay, but it's a, it's a hollow. I'm not mad. All right, Legacy of Darkness. Here we go. See what we can do before we get back to the third party blisters. We've got a couple foils pulled today, but we could really step it up and pull something else. It'd be good. Greatest option. We have Puppet Magic. We do have an ultra, both trap cards, interestingly enough. Serpentine, Spirit Ryu. We just need a secret to add to the Ultra and the Super Super Rova Lady. And a Shadow Tamer. Okay, that's not going to really add much at all, Shadow Tamer. All right, Dark Revelation, Rise of Destiny. First ad, by the way. Let's open this up. Okay, this one's already kind of open, so that one was coming apart a little bit. That's fine, because it's going to have an ulti in it, and it's going to be amazing. Let's start with Rise of Destiny. We want that perfect Machine King. We want the Creator. Either one would be pretty awesome. One, two, three, four. Let's make sure I don't do an Ultra Rux, especially like with the Air Neos. Element Soros. We have the Eagle Eye. Furikazan. Pitch Black Warwolf. Let's go. Harpy Sunning Ground. Raging Flame Sprite. Zing Zen Hu. Mirage Dragon. And Sasuke. Sasuke or Sasuke. I used to call it Sasuke back in the day. Sasuke Samurai like in Naruto. Dark Revelation Volume 1. This is one I've not opened a ton of recently. Really at all, probably. It's a weird set. It's a very weird set. So I don't... Because they didn't put... Uh, this is the one they didn't put Dark Magician Girl. So I don't even know where the foil is going to be. Let's just kind of go through. Roulette Barrel. Where's the foil slash rare? Dark Blade. Oh, it might be here. Oh, Dramatic Rescue. Okay. All right. Dramatic Rescue. Sasuke. Sasakuretsu Armor. There we go. <laughs> Wave Motion Cannon. I don't know what I'm saying. Wave Motion Cannon's a good one, though. All right. Let's try the LON pack. We have one more of these. A lot of vintage pack. It was like 24 total. So you guys are getting like a full box worth of variety of old school packs today. Hopefully you'll like it. One, two, three, four. Let me know if you do in the comments. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the video. You want to see more like this? We'll be attempting to get more of these as we go. We've done this many times in the channel's history. We have Miracle Dig. Lightning Conger, Tornado Wall, Shining Abyss, Mario Kutai, we have the Portrait Secret, and Tornado Bird. Come on, more foils. We need more foils. So we bring in Metal Raiders and Labyrinth of Nightmare right here. Let's go. Let's do this. The foil train's here. Step back. Oh, they're coming. Labyrinth of Nightmare. Back-to-back -back Labyrinth of Nightmare packs right here. <sighs> we need a little luck, guys. It has not been the most successful in terms of pulling foils. One, two... Three, four. So if we can turn that around right here, it'd be great. Amazon Archer, we got Blind Destruction. Strollable Witchman. The Rock Spirit. Mario Kutai. Portrait Seeker, we have Dark Door. Dream Sprite. And we have the Return of the Doomed. All right. Metal Raiders, you're one of our two foils. You pulled the Seven Tools of the Bandit and the Pequeno. So you're really carrying us as my favorite set. So if you'd like to continue that right here and do it again, that'd be great. We'd love to have two Pequeno Moths. Here we go. Oh, we are the Cousin Moth. Let's go. Add that to the equation water harmonics with the shirt on congrats bakery box we have wing dragon guardian fortress number one illusionist faceless mage mystic horseman cybersaurus pale beast ruxin 34 and we have a little chimera okay two nice commons but no foil all right pharaoh servant here we go one two three four come on give us something these pharaoh servants have been pretty cursed so far mr volcano that fiery finger we got time seal we got science soldier Armor Glass, Flame Champion, Respect Play, Shaking Those Hands, Guru Chikubagata, and Monster Recovery. Those are just cursed. I think that those were probably not great. Okay, last third-party blister is Magician's Force and Legacy of Darkness. So Magician's Force, obviously a big one. Big potential Dark Magician Girl inside. So let's see if we can get that right here. So let's rip that off. That opened pretty good. Okay, Legacy of Darkness. Second to last pack in this video. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys have enjoyed the video so far. It's been pretty awesome, except for the pulls have not been that great. One, two, three, four. Let's turn it around right here. Let's get something big out of Legacy of Darkness. Dragon Manipulator. We got Life Absorbing Machine. There's Paris. 
turning into Parasect. We have Gentleman, Ocean, Throwstone Unit, Super Robo Yaru, Dark Ruler, Wing Minion, and a Marauding Captain. Whoa, look at this. It's got like a little foil like dots all over it. It's like it has foil like when they put the foil on it like splattered all over the card. Okay, I don't know if I pulled this. First of all, Sintering is Legacy of Darkness for sure. And then you look at the splatter of the card. That's pretty awesome, actually. That is really cool. The Marauding Captain. Very cool. So big Ultra in the last or second to last pack. Let's see if we can follow it up with back to back. Dark Magician Girl, please. Last pack magic. Magician's Force. Here we go. Gotta believe, guys. Gotta believe. One, two, three, four. Can we pull the DMG? Dark Paladin would be great as well. Or the uh, Breaker. Jar Robber. Here we go. Last pack magic. Union Rider. Metal Silver Armor. Haven't been great at the foil pulls today. If we could finish it off two for two, it'd be amazing. The Amazonist Blowpiper. Gather your mind. Pigeon Holding Book of Spells. Thunder of Ruler. Is this it? Is this the next card? Here we go. It's a trap. And Amazon is Archers. Okay. So we ended up going two for two to end it. Not a huge card there, but hey, a foil is a foil. Very nice shine on that foil in the background. I said foil way too many times in that sentence. Overall, super fun opening. Don't forget to check out my website if you guys want to pick up some PSA graded cards. Don't forget to check out Sassy Auto's affiliates down below. Grab some of the new sets upcoming like Rarity Collection, etc. And don't forget to check out the sponsor of today's video, HelloFresh. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Puff and Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Another Side Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barney, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.